Okay, Peachy. Peaches. Uh, you know what today is? Today is uh, Nugget's birthday. The sheriff and uh, invitations to his party right there. Look. You may want to come. It's Nugget's birthday. It's at the chicken coop. So you come on, we're going to have cupcakes and that kind of good stuff. I know you don't want to miss out on the cupcakes. No, not at all. What about you, Sonny? <laughs> Any peaches you going to be there? Be there, be square. Peach says she'll be there. It's going to be cupcakes involved. She'll be there. So while we're around passing out Nuggets invitations, we are going, well, after the party, of course, we are going to get our first ever chicken coop for the new farm. Uh, it is going to be an old, try. Gonna try, an old utility trailer that my dad had and uh, we're gonna try to get it over there. Fingers and crossed. Fingers crossed, and that's gonna be our first coop. Now, I think we'll probably leave the wheels on this one, that's our plan, and make it a portable coop where we can move it around the farm. He's got two more that we're gonna try to get back over there. And those will probably just be stationary. We'll just put them on the ground, uh, fix them up where it can be a coop. But that is our plan today after this awesome party. And look, everybody's ready. Everybody's ready. Do they got an invitation, Mary Carl? Oh, the, the goat, goat boys. boys. The goat girls. Oh, look. The alarm system. The chickens. The silkies. Hey, that one needs to go too. Yeah, go hand them their invitations. Let them know what's up. Have oh. y'all heard? Nugget's birthday. Y'all gonna come? Of course. Let's gonna be, to, gonna be some animal, animal, cracker. animal crackers before their party. How about some extra animal crackers? Since it is Nugget's birthday. Does Nugget know it's his birthday? Nugget is the big one today. One year old. It doesn't seem like it's been a year. Sorry. Don't about it? That. It don't seem like it's been a year at all. You want to see if you can't distract the boys? To... I'm going to go cut the lawn system off. See if you can't distract Joe enough to... Oh, he's not going to do it. Well, you got to... That worked. Go, go. There we go. Is Tucker invited to the party? Did she get an invitation? I don't think she did, but can she come? Yeah. Okay, Tucker. No invitation needed. Come on and join us. It's Nugget's birthday. Look at Scott. <laughs> Scott, so where's Cupcake at? Where's the birthday cake? That's what he wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> Nuggo! Look at him, he heard his name. He said, hey! Come on, Come on, What's up, old man? Old man. What's up, old man? Huh? Happy birthday, Nugget. It's a special day. It's a special, special day. We're all here to celebrate you. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Did it get... <laughs> oh, gosh. He's Look at spitting it everywhere. Nugget. He said, it's my birthday. I can do whatever I want to do. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at Goat. Goat wants some. Nugget's coming back for more. The ducks want it. Look at his mouth. I know it. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> he said, just let me out for my birthday. Gotta go. Gotta go. Should I just feed it to him? Yeah, just throw it down there to him. Like it. Oh, ACDC likes it. Here we go. Look at ACDC calling his women. <laughs> Look at him. He's crowing for cupcakes. He is. 
ACDC, your birthday's coming up. It is, isn't it? He wants all black cupcakes, yeah. licorice. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Peach. Come get your birthday cake here. Come on, no. I know that's not on your diet. You're trying to watch your weight for the summertime. Get ready for that bikini, but we uh we'll let you have one cheat day. Uh oh, uh oh, Nugget. Peaches ain't gonna eat all your cake, buddy. No. Was that good, Peachy? Yeah. That's good stuff right there. Nugget, how does it feel to be one year old, man? Huh? You feel any older? Did she even tell him happy birthday or she goes straight for the cake? She went straight for the cake. Yeah. She may tell him after she gets through chewing, but she went straight for the cake. You might say, whose birthday's next? <laughs> She uh, she's probably gonna make it mandatory. We have a birthday party for every animal. Every critter yeah. gets a birthday party. Cupcakes for all. Cupcakes for all. For those that don't know, and may have missed in the last video, we've kind of separated uh, Thomas from the herd because him and Scott are kind of tying into it. And uh, we didn't want Thomas to get hurt because, you know, Scott's way more athletic than Thomas is. And, he, uh, we just don't want nothing to happen to him. Y'all want a birthday cake? Y'all come on. He may have to just, there you go. Just throw a little bit out there to him. Rhonda says she ain't interested in it. Now your sister was. Your sister was eating it fast. We can throw it out. Yeah. Maybe she don't want to eat in front of Thomas. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's her problem. Oh, me. You grab their uh, water and feeder and sit it out, and we'll get those fixed up this morning. Yeah. Y'all be sure to tell Nugget happy birthday today, okay? Checking them gloves out. A fan sent these gloves to clean the water as well. Check them out. Big time. Coming to you. Here's you some water. And there's y'all's feed. Y'all have a lovely day. Enjoy the birthday party. For those that don't know the whole story about Nugget, uh, Nugget is our one year old emu. Uh, we got him, of course, a year ago. Found him online. Went and picked him up. He had two siblings that we got and we really were only going to get one, then, long story short, we ended up getting three. We didn't need three, but we had friends that wanted some. So on our way back with Nugget, we dropped those two off at their farm, but we absolutely love Nugget. He's such a part of the family, and we're so glad we got him, and he's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun, and a lot of laughs. up around here with that you and inspecting it ain't it Time to get you a badge water inspection you're getting so blue right there you know that nugget hmm you're getting so blue look at you 
Look at that blue around your face. Oh, look at your neck, how blue it is. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, there it is. There's that blue. Electric blue. Yeah, I think it's beautiful, Nugget. Yes, I do. You like that, don't you? Hmm? You like that, don't you? Yeah, you a sweet boy sometimes. You know it? You a sweet boy sometimes. Yeah. Give y'all a quick onion update after I had let them sit outside in the sun for a few days. Now I hung them up in here under our barn porch to get them out of the sun and just let air circulate around them and let them finish curing under here in the shade. But probably in a week or two, I'll just watch them when they get good and papery. We'll uh, we'll take them down and start storing them inside, start eating them, and start freeze drying them. Don't they look cool up there though? I just love it when they're hanging from the barn ceiling like that. over the place when we go move this trailer hmm you watch everybody hmm keep everybody safe sonny hmm you and tucker oh tucker goodness tuck you gonna love on sonny <laughs> all right chores done let's go see if we can load up this old trailer and make it a chicken coop Come on, Scott. Come on, get out of the way. Roadblock. Car kill roadblock. All right, here we go. Here we go. Chicken coop number one. All right, he's back here. Here we Look go. Got another one coming around. <laughs> No chicken coops don't belong on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we it ain't full it. of chickens. May Carl be riding back there with them. We doing okay? We're doing okay. All right. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Woo. We on the way. All right, we still, we still rolling. Still nervous. We still back here. I'm We're good. nervous. We're nervous, but kind of excited too. Yeah, I mean, I know it's gonna work. It's just getting it there. Getting it there. I know it's gonna work, and it's gonna be awesome because we'll be able to move the laying chickens around and mm -hmm. and keep them in a, a fence area that we want them to work the ground. And we'll put us a hitch on the on the tractor, and that way we can move it with a tractor. Well, actually, I've got a hitch on the tractor. That's right. It's got a, That's right. know, a hole in it. Well, we can move it around with a tractor. I'm, 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 I'm nervous. Uh, I'm not that nervous anymore because we're getting what, close to the halfway point. So much for, he just told us to pull over. We'll see what's going on. think anything's major wrong. I think he just realized he didn't have his phone. He left us. He thought he may have left the cell phone on the back of the in the back of the truck, but he didn't. He's uh pretty sure. Cause I told him I didn't see him with it at all. Well, I wonder if it was that same number I was calling. I don't know. But we're back on the road. Nothing major. <sighs> so you, you can breathe easily now i was listening to the conversation and i was talking <laughs> while i was recording uh -huh. y'all stopped uh -huh. saying I, it, it's nothing major nothing major all right here we go 
Well, it would have been major, I guess, if he had left his phone on the back of the truck. That would have been major. For him? Yeah. Yep, he said he knows exactly where he left it. He just wanted to make sure. All right. Come on, cock, he'll 40. All right, so we made it. Thank goodness. But we made it. We're just going to get this thing parked somewhere on some flat ground. All right, so we, we got it here. It was a little sketchy. A little. It was a little sketchy. <laughs> I was a little more than a little, and I'm not usually the worrier. Um, Jason wasn't too concerned. He was just sitting in the passenger seat just I chill. wasn't that concerned about it. I felt like it was going to make it here. I just did. I, just, I really did. Um, but this is it. This will be... Our mobile egg coop. Yep, the first coop on the COG 40. Um... I think this is going to work out well. Our, it's aluminum. Our plan is to be able to attach it to the tractor and move it. I don't, I'm not sure how many times we're going to have to move it throughout the, um, I don't know if it's once a week or if it's going to be every three days or whatever. We'll figure all that out. But uh, this is very similar to what Joel Salatin does. Now he has an egg mobile that's similar to this. Well, but this is what the hand we were dealt. So. This is the hand we were dealt. Uh, it was free. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't get much better than that. Um, and we got two more we got to try to get over here too. Only one will be mobile. The other two are probably going to be stationary. We may take the wheels off of them and make them a good bit lower. And Maybe even set them directly on the ground. Maybe set it directly on the ground or either, either put blocks. Or build a little platform. Something. We'll on. figure that out. We're one step closer to having our animals situated. Yes, I'm excited about this. Our plan is is to get the electric poultry netting and put around it, so when they come out, that's what they'll graze in, and they can come in and up, and, you know, as many times as they want. We'll put the feed and water underneath it. That we'll, way, we'll stay a, out of the weather. We'll build a big ramp for them to be able yep. to walk up in that's it. Right. And we'll put roost all on the inside all the way around, and we may decorate the outside. Maybe Decorate. some license plates. That's what, you know, people are asking about our license plates. This is what we're going to do with them like this or the other barn that's already here or the other two of these we're bringing in. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll probably cut some holes out for ventilation, maybe a window, maybe a screen window or something. I'm thinking like put hardware cloth from the inside. We could do that too. Um, and, and trim it out with wood, you know, just yeah. to make it stay. Because the wood, this wood walls in it mm -hmm. and then it's got a wood bottom. Uh, it's not in perfect shape, but it's in perfect shape to pull some chickens around in for That's sure. Right. And we couldn't to, beat the price. No, we're going to need to make a few upgrades, but hey, we got it here. That's that's the biggest step is done. The biggest step is we got it here, which was huge. I'm having my lunch on the, on the go. <laughs> it's um, taking us a little while to get it over here. And yeah, because we couldn't go over 40 miles an hour, so it took us a little while to get here. We're probably going to have to take the tire off of this one. Yes. To put it on another one to get it over here because yep. it's got a bad wheel bearing and the wheel won't turn. Right. So we'll take this wheel off, put it on another one, and do the same thing once again. We're ready. We're ready to roll. We've been getting some chickens you know out here what, for too long. You know what's going to happen? What's that? Mary Carl's going to start saying, "Well, we could probably just go ahead and get our get some chickens <laughs> to put over here, so so we can go ahead and start selling eggs over there, and people know what we're going to be doing." She's probably thinking, "If we're going to have pigs over here." before too long and we can have chickens over here too i bet she is i bet she is too as she's zipping around on her little yeah she's riding toot -toot. a little toot -toot. all right i think we did a, a day's work we did
Let's go. <laughs> I'll get you some lunch. Now. I'll give me some lunch. 